Hi guys, thanks for viewing. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Today we're going to talk about New Year resolutions. How to make them and also how to use the law of attraction to really make them work. Okay, so the first thing I've got to do guys is I've already got this in my book. So if you haven't got a copy of my book yet, it's available on Lulu in a hard copy and it's also on my website as a PDF i.e. cheaper okay so here is my book it's called five years in heaven the teachings of heaven the first part is all about what i saw where i went how long i was there for when i died in 2001 the teachings of heaven details all the stuff that we can incorporate into our life to live heaven on earth so one of the things that i've got in here is a chapter on the universal laws it starts on page 233 the universal laws okay i go into the 12 laws because there's 12 a lot of people only listen to universal law number seven which is the law of attraction but what people don't realize is that there's 12 laws and rule number one the law number one it actually says the law of divine oneness helps us understand that we live in a world where everything is connected to everything else which means you can't use law number seven without using the other 11 okay so you got to use all the laws together okay so law number seven which is the universal law of attraction how we create the things events people that come into our lives our thoughts, feelings, words and actions create energy, which in turn creates and attracts similar energies. Now, part of my PhD training was that I learned about like attracting like. So, good energies, there's negative energies, or should I say positive energies and negative energies, right? So, when we're doing the resolutions at the end of the year, what we're actually saying to ourselves is, I've been doing this thing. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to start doing something else. So a couple of things that people ask for in New Year's resolutions. How often do people say, I'm going to go on a diet. I'm going to start exercising. Okay. That's number one, by the way. Okay. When you research this stuff. Number two is money, 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 money. Everybody wants more of it. Number three is self um, skills, self um, finding new friends, new hobbies, that sort of stuff. And the top fourth one on the list is finding a new job. Okay. So whatever your decision there is, because it's all our free will, right? Whatever it is that you want to manifest to create in the new year, you've got to think first, what am I going to get rid of? Because in this book, I explain something and it's pretty intense how full is our cup this exercise where we imagine a cup of water but there's only water halfway in the vessel how full is that cup some people might say it's half full some would say it's half empty whether you're pessimistic or optimistic but i say we're already full because we only see the water we don't see the air that fills that cup right to the brim. So if we want more water in our cup, like New Year resolution, so we're doing all this law of attraction stuff. I want money. I want a new hobby. I need a better friend. I want to go and get a diet and exercise. We've got to release stuff out of that cup in order for new things to come in. Doesn't that make sense, right? So... There are other techniques on there out there about how to make the law of attraction work, but most of them only use three rules. I actually go into four. So the first rule straight from my book, which is on page 237, if you want to get a copy, it's a PDF on my website. It's only $20. Okay. Um, that is Australian dollars. So if you live in America, that's only about $15 US for a copy of my whole book, 369 pages. So Rule number one, straight from my book on page 237, trust and believe that whatever we are going to do is going to work. Trust that this is going to happen. Okay. 
Second rule, which a lot of these techniques leave out, by the way, is to release the negativity. What are we willing to let go and release out of that cup so more things can come in to fill up our 100% energetic field that surrounds us? So this might be where you look at yourself, diet and exercise, because that's the number one reason why people do um, New Year resolutions, right? What caused us to overeat? Some people might say, oh, I've, I drinking, so I'm going to stop drinking alcohol. Some people might say, oh, I'm going to give up smoking or drugs or whatever else that they do, okay? I don't judge people, by the way. So whatever that addiction is, you might want to get rid of that during this diet and exercise regime. So what caused you to want to do that in the first place? And so this is a doozy of a rule where we release things. You know, we don't just say, oh, I've been in this habit for three months now where I'm just sitting on the couch eating potato chips, eating cheesecake. Yeah, I've really got to do something about this. I'm going to make a New Year's resolution to start losing weight. What was the reason, the psychological reason, why you were sitting on that couch with no emphasis, no compassion, um, no passion? What was driving you to become lazy and not wanting to do anything for anybody else other than, you know, looking after yourself as well. So this is where it can go deep, guys. Okay, so you've got to look at the reasons why we were doing a behavior. Okay, all right. So rule number two is releasing all that negativity that we no longer want. Rule number three, uh, um, all we have to do is ask for it. You know, I do readings all the time. And people say, oh, Linda, it's really cool that you see ghosts. How do I do that? And I basically say to them, all you got to do is ask. And they go, what? Yeah, you ask. So when I, whenever I ask for something, I always use manners. I'm always respectful. And I always say thank you, right? Hey, baby, can you please make me a cup of coffee? Thank you. See how I was respectful? I showed thanks. I was courteous and respectful. Okay. So we do that with the angels and the universal energies as well. So we always be grateful and thank you. Thank you so much for allowing me to identify the reasons why I've been sitting on the couch for three months eating potato chips and cheesecake all day. I don't want to do that anymore. So now we identify, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to start having emphasis. I want to start getting passionate about things. I want to go out and meet new friends. I want to get out and exercise and lose weight. Okay? So we have to, number rule three, number three rule is ask. Okay? So in here I have a, I'm going to just quote straight from my book on page 239. Thank you so much for listening to me. Because they always do listen. So give thanks to them for listening to us, okay? I've got a hair on my nose, sorry. Um... I value and appreciate all that you are within the universal energies. I am grateful. I so appreciate that you actually work through me. Wow, I get these goosebumps every time I think that how special I am to you. Okay? So get that emphasis and that conviction in your voice when you say these things. Okay? Therefore, I ask that you grant my wish for me to receive whatever it is that you want. In this book, I use the, I want a million dollars. Because a lot of people do want money, right? I will use this money for the good of the universe. So don't just say, oh yeah, you know, I just, I'm selfish. I just want this for my own personal gain. Because selfishness is negative And the universal energies are all positive. Okay? So they're not going to help us to be more negative. They don't work like that. So, you know, if you want a million dollars, what will you use that for? Who will you help? Who will you support, cherish, love, honour and respect as part of receiving that money? Okay, so if you do want to lose weight and go on a diet, what's your purpose for wanting to do that? I want to lose weight so I gain confidence. I want to be able to go out with my friends on a Friday night and um, experience their life with them. So yeah, that's all positive stuff. Okay, so it doesn't have to be deep and meaningful here, guys. Okay. So our fourth rule is receive. Know that we want it now, so we create it now in our mind. 
Now, I do go into it more, okay, in my book. But there's three warnings that I've also got to mention. What? There's warnings? Of course there's warnings. First warning is be specific. I'll tell you a uh, little <laughs> something about me. A few years ago, a friend was over. We were having a Friday night girl night. And she said, oh, wouldn't it be good to win, um, you know, just come into $10 million. And I said, well, let's use the law of attraction and, you know, all the universal laws and we'll create this to happen through the law of attraction. So what we did is we created it in our mind that right now in the present, we had that $10 million in our bank account. So you imagine your online banking with all those zeros. Um, so we believe that it's there. We feel it in our gut. We feel it and it emits out of us like electricity. And then we said, right, yeah, it's right here. It's right now. Oh, my God, I've got $10 million right now. See this passion that I'm getting, right? That's what you want to create. So next day, I got this email from some prince and somewhere, Botswana. This prince died. And oh, what luck. I was in his will. And guess how much I was getting? $10 million. So you've got to be specific, okay? So it's a warning, be specific. Second one is we all have life contracts. You know, if we have a life contract where we must receive the gratitude of other people and, and generosity, we may be incarnated into this existence where we are a homeless person, where we must feel that privilege and that respect of someone who gives us $2 if we're a homeless man, right? So do you think in our life contract we're going to actually create $10 million to magically appear in our bank account? So if it's not in our life contracts, which is our life path, these things will never work, okay? So that's where I come into it and say, you know, it's not really good for um, the generous, um, for the um, for people to actually want physical things. Law of attraction actually works far better when we're talking those immaterial things. Generosity, kindness, I want to be more loving, I want to be more understanding, compassionate, forgi um, not getting so offended, I don't want to judge people anymore. Okay, so the law of attraction for those things, we can create that really easily. Okay, so the last warning, you get what you're asked for. Okay. Just remember here that $10 million, okay? Some some prince in Botswana or somewhere, that wasn't real. I got what I asked for, right? So we've got to visualize exactly what it is that we want to create. So when you come down to doing your New Year resolutions, guys, think about not just what you want to do. I want to go on a diet. I want to get a better job. I want to go and meet new friends. Think about what it is that you're going to give up in order to receive that. Then graciously release all that to the universe. You know, be grateful, like in that ex um, exercise I said before, the example, where you're sitting on the couch for three months. I am so grateful that I had that opportunity to be able to sit on the couch for three months. I learned a lot because I was watching a lot of Netflix documentaries or whatever. Um, but I am so grateful that I had that opportunity to rest. I had that opportunity where I took that time out to do my self-care. But now I realize I don't want to be that person anymore. So I release that and I let go of that. And I don't want to be that anymore. So now I can bring in exercise. I want to bring in diet. So please allow me to find diet supplements allow me to find out the the benefits of fruit and vegetables so i start eating them instead of junk food every day okay so that's how we do the law of attraction so coming up to new year's resolutions some of us make doozy ones some of us make just little ones it doesn't matter what you do or wish what you wish for but ultimately try and do your damnedest to make them succeed. That is the biggest thing here. We create what we think about. One of my personal mottos is what we think we create. Okay? People who are always thinking about how sick they are, they will be sicker. Those who always are constantly thinking about how happy and loving they are, guess what they're creating? 
And look at my energy today. Because I always wake up and I always say, today is going to be a great day. I am healthy, I am fit and I am young. I say that about 10 or 20 times every day to myself. I am. Affirmations are those words that we create into our reality that we can incorporate through the law of attraction to make our new year resolutions work. So guys, I hope you've liked this video. Great talking to you. If you do want a copy of my book, the links are going to be in the description below. And have a great new year. Don't do anything too silly. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.